Hey everybody, the day is finally here and we have eggs from Pinky. I just did an exploratory dig. Um, I had her in her hide box. Uh, she went in there last night, so I blocked it off and uh, just made a dig. I thought she laid yesterday, but I couldn't tell. And uh, I got my uh, containers for the eggs. I'm walking back over to the half demoed cages. Uh, this is gonna be a big week. The end of this week, I plan on moving four to six animals. So we're making a big push at the other property to get this done. I know some of you have to be tired of watching cage construction videos and you wanna get back to the fun stuff. Jackson's in his water. Now the, uh, let's see, walking in here. Okay, now the dad, he's in a big shed, but he's on the screen or on the shelf right there. He is a big boy and he's been getting much bigger in this outdoor enclosure. Oh, my mom's pulling up, so she's gonna be excited to see this. Let me get one of the containers ready because we are ready to pull some of the eggs out. So he started digging on this side and here we go there's egg number one and hopefully we have some good eggs from pinky this time the soil is pretty stinking wet it rained hard last night so i don't know if that was bad that's going to be the risk i run oh i might even point the camera at what i'm doing sorry about that oh that one feels very nice pretty dented on the bottom but maybe it'll get shape this one feels like maybe a slug the one below it looks really good it's got a good little group of eggs right there for little pinks that egg is huge that's a monster wow Gosh, even if only that one egg hatched out. <laughs> oh, wow. Good job, Pinky. You got nine eggs. I don't know. Okay, and I'll put it all back for her. And now these eggs, I'm not gonna do what I normally do. I'm actually gonna put some of the dirt back on them so they can't move because these eggs have to travel with me 45 minutes to Okeechobee before I can clean them off and put them in the incubator. So I'm gonna put some soil in there so they can't move and uh, we'll be back in Okeechobee shortly. Quick break to ask you to like, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Now back to the video. Okay, still at the Jupiter house, and I had just done a short about this, but I wanna throw this in the video because as big of a victory as getting eggs from Pinky is, the female albino, and the lights behind her, horrible view, but she is full of eggs and she's been digging like crazy. I have dirt all over the garage floor. So uh, good things are happening over here. And here's somebody that you don't get to see often. This is one of the female sulfurs from Alejandro that I've been keeping indoors. The other female, she's in the corner of her enclosure. I won't mess with her. Both very shy. They haven't been handled much. And uh, I think
think we, we had a big burst of the Het Black Dragons being sold yesterday. And I keep telling people like how calm they are. I just want you guys to see this. So this is the tub of them sleeping in the water. And I can just go in there and pick the whole group up. They are super, super, super calm. All of them are like that in that group. I'm really excited about them. And those are from Ivy and Bumblebee. Now I'm heading to Okeechobee. All right, we're at the Okeechobee house and uh, I put soil in with the eggs so they couldn't roll or bounce around during the drive and it would hold its constant temperature a little better. So what we need to do now is, see if you guys can actually see me, is now I need to dig up the eggs again, um, egg by egg and get to the good ones which I guess we really don't know which ones are good. Um, and I know I had some comments earlier um, about people saying I shouldn't rinse the eggs off, but I'm going to quickly rinse the eggs off. I didn't have any bad eggs when I was rinsing them, but when I stopped rinsing them, like people commented, I've had more eggs spoil and I'm willing to listen to any advice and the advice, especially on that note, that that is a beautiful egg. Um, it makes sense. And I know that you're not supposed to rinse chicken eggs and stuff, but remember, I don't have a controlled environment like people incubating or, or their nest boxes are indoors. Who knows what I have in my soil? Like what if I have all the bacteria, the microbes in my soil for uh, bugs to start growing. Like, I don't know what's in there. This soil is outdoor soil, year round outdoor soil. Ooh, that egg, uh, I guarantee you that egg is going to go bad. It is very soft on its one end. The shell doesn't seem good, that's a shame. I really only see so far, one egg that I really like. All of these other eggs are very dented. I don't know, Pinky. Not looking promising. I think, like I said when I was digging them up, if we only got one baby, baby from Pinky, I'd be okay with that. Because it's not really about we don't need 12 babies from her. We'd be just happy to see one. That would be cool. So, yeah, most of these eggs are very dented. I mean, it's still gonna go in the incubator. I don't know how well you guys can see that. It's very dented and everything. It may plump up, but that's not likely. Looks like that one egg that yeah, this egg might be okay. Mm. Yeah, see, this is the second egg that looks good, but has a really soft area in its shell, so I don't know. So I think she possibly could have had more good eggs. Oh, and this egg could be good. Mm. So the, I would say there's between one in four eggs that might be good out of the nine. Oh, and I know one of the things about me rinsing the eggs before is that I was using the water that was treated with salt. This is well water and not treated with anything. In fact, it has all the minerals and everything in it. Um, so I didn't rinse them crazy. They're still probably the protective layer. I just got the bulk of that soil off. So we're gonna carry this inside. I'm gonna put um, spring water on it and get them in the incubator. All right, we're inside. Now, I'm not gonna 
date these yet until I know they're good. I can always look at my video or pictures. Spring water that's already at the right temperature in there. So we're not looking that good in the incubator. The disturbance of the move and everything has really messed up my rhythm. This is Lily and Forest. That's the last egg and I think it is going bad. This is Ivy and Bumblebee's last clutch and I think those may be going bad. You can see how dented they are. And this is the only good clutch of eggs that I have cooking right now and it is down to seven eggs. And that would be Het Black Dragons. I think they're due seven, six. Seven, six. This year, they should be hatching out. Which is good because they sold really well. There's only a couple left. So that's it. More eggs from the, in the incubator. Hopefully a couple good ones from Pinky. That would be amazing. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. See you soon.